name is Christine McQueen. I'm the founder and co-owner of McQueen Building Company. McQueen Building Company was started by Jeff, my husband and I about seven years ago and we do high-end residential construction. So the story behind this kitchen is that the clients came to us and they had been long overdue for this project. The kitchen was original to 1988. The spaces were pretty small. They needed some walls taken down. And really the whole point of the kitchen was to have a larger entertaining space so that they could have a lot of people over and see everyone in the family at the island. Chris, walking into this kitchen, it's unbelievable how much has changed from what it once was. Tell me about this gorgeous island that steals your eye the minute you walk in. Yeah, the island is really the focal point. So one thing that the client really wanted was an island with seating and they are a family of six. So this island fits six stools, easy peasy. The island's 14 feet long and the countertops are a leathered quartzite. They are beautiful and they are completely indestructible. Well, looks clean to me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking at the cabinetry here, inset, this is all the rage right now. Tell me a little bit about the cabinet choice, the door style, the finishes. Yeah, so the cabinets are by Oak and Pillar. They are our custom cabinet line. So we can make them any color, size, species in the whole wide world. So this client went with the color Drop Cloth. It's by Faro and Ball. It's a really neutral, soft, light taupe. Inset cabinets are gorgeous. They look like furniture pieces. So all the little details throughout the kitchen are really just to have like, pops of interest but not like blow your mind and steal the attention there's lots of little details so i feel like paneling all the appliances was one way that we could really add a lot of interest with but like hide all the hard working pieces of the functional kitchen well moving forward past our island more beautiful inset cabinetry great mm -hmm. design choices i'm looking at this wall i'm looking at this hood tell me about the execution so the hood is gorgeous but it's not like screaming for attention really everything in this kitchen is supposed to be like chill calm beautiful and do a lot of hard work and most people wouldn't guess that it's drywall walking in either. Right, yeah, which the nice thing was we could give the client any texture they wanted in the whole wide world. So we gave them kind of three options and they went with this kind of subtle sort of stucco look. Well, it was beautiful execution for sure. And again, to textures and keeping it understated, you have the beautiful tile and then step down mm -hmm. into the countertop risen up above it. You have all these different finishes and textures, but really it combines together to be understated and not too loud. Yeah, I agree. So not so understated, the 48 inch Gen Air range, the touches of brass. Tell me how we got there. Well, the client knew that they wanted a 48 inch range. So there were really only a couple options that they were able to choose from. And the Gen Air really spoke to them because of the brass accents. They didn't want something that was all stainless, very commercial looking. They wanted something a little bit more residential and this totally fits the bill. Looking across from the range, we see the other side of our 14 foot mm -hmm. island and we were all surprised coming in. There's two dishwashers in the island, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. One is assumedly flanking the sink and we see it over there panel ready. But this other one, you were able to make drawer fronted. Yes. The homeowners knew they wanted two dishwashers from the very beginning. So we typically like to have a dishwasher right next to the sink, but having a trash pull out on the opposite side of the sink from the dishwasher was really, a really good flow. So the secondary dishwasher had to look not like a dishwasher. We kind of like having some symmetry. So having the drawer stack on the very end and then mimicking it with the faux cabinet drawer stack for the dishwasher just made a lot of sense. And the paper towel holder. I love I'll the just, paper towel. Uh, we try to do that as much as possible because it gets the paper towels off the counter. Good design leads to good organization. It sure does, yeah. For sure. Speaking of thoughtful, microwave drawer. I love microwave drawers. It gets the microwave off the counter. It's not the prettiest appliance ever, but it's so useful. So I love having a microwave drawer under there. And actually the drawer that we build under every microwave drawer is so deep. That's wonderful for casserole dishes or big skillets, maybe like a crock pot. It's really, really functional. And the end of the triangle is the beautiful 42 inch built in refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Tell me, you know, I, we, we both know that we love panel ready for the built in columns yes. for projects but the 42 inch space and because of the long wall, just tell me about how we got to where we are with the design. Yeah, well, 42 inch um, was the largest fridge freezer combo that we could get. I mean, this space is very open to the rest of the first floor. We kind of had to panel it because we're staring at it all the time. Um, so it made a lot of sense to make it look like a piece of cabinetry. But the panel ready appliances really do blend in and continue the understated tone of the entire kitchen, for yeah, sure. Right. 
I think the whole vibe of this space is basically casual elegance. We want it to be livable, we want it to be beautiful, not too fussy, so I feel like we achieved that. Definitely. It's timeless, I think. Yeah. Well, Chris, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day designing these beautiful kitchens to come and let us see and shoot and find out about this beautiful kitchen. Yeah. We appreciate your partnership, we appreciate your business, and we appreciate your work. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. It's always wonderful to work with you and Don's Appliances.